We have to understand that we as people, as artists, are all in competition with each other, whether we admit it or not. Who's the best? Who's really the worst? Who's really the most creative? Who's the most unique? Who's really the wannabe? I'm Aza, and this is another art diary. Listen, people don't need you to tell them how great or how bad they are. They have eyes, they can see, and some people may recognize you for that. Some people won't. Sometimes, you may be even called out by other creators if you get inspired by some of their techniques. It's also unrealistic to believe that you will be like every other creative person. Because you ain't like them. Some of us want to do realism, motion graphics, 2D, 3D, all different kinds of things. But we definitely don't have to do it all together. Don't hold yourself to these dumb expectations of trying to become someone else. You'll never be the detailed clay artist Johnny or the perfect graphic designer Rebecca. Is there anybody similar to you, more well known, that you compare yourself to? Who are they? Back then, I was insecure that I wasn't as good as other creative people because they always found ways to improve and become better. Why I just felt stagnant. Even now, I sometimes catch myself comparing to people on social media. I always try to do something different, out of force or for the sake of improving. And I did improve, but... A lot of creators will tell you to get out of your comfort zone and do better. Force yourself. But one day, forcing yourself is not going to work. Some people learn to practice something just for the sake of being like the next person or being more original. But the truth is, nobody's original. No one. Especially not you. People learn from each other, regardless of how different they are. And in this day and age, there is no right or wrong way to put your own spin on something. When did you realize you were not original? Or do you still believe you're original? Why is that? A lot of people say you shouldn't compare yourself to other creative people. That you should be yourself and stick to what you're good at. But what does be yourself even mean in this day and age? People have advanced so much in creativity and work and have endless access to information and ideas. Thanks to how advanced people have become, I can't be the same person I was three weeks ago. I can't even be the person I was three days ago. Because every day I want to advance and I want to keep growing. So if the majority of people can do that, why the hell do you compare yourself? Why do you doubt that you can advance? You do that because you may not be happy with the situation you're in right now or not happy with how you're advancing or wish you could benefit from what someone else's achievements help them benefit from. I actually don't believe it's wrong. Am I saying we should just compare ourselves because it's natural? Well, not necessarily. You can tell people to stop comparing. You can shout to the skies. You can be as influential about it as you want. But people are going to compare themselves regardless. Because again, we're advancing quickly, fastly, and in a hurry. I'm not really one of those YouTubers or bloggers that are like, just take it with a grain of salt, man. You're perfect just the way you are. Um, no. People that have big imaginations and goals should be pushed to do better. Yeah, sure, you may not be the next big musician. But telling people that they're perfect just the way they are is doing a huge disservice to our generations. Now, you might say that's a bit of a stretch. But the people that are creative and evolved are the reason we're so advanced today. But if you want to sit around and compare yourself and not get anywhere, yeah, sure. Just don't pressure anyone to be stagnant and ignorant with you. When I worked in retail, I had a coworker that was like that while trying to get get close to me. I don't think that she actually liked me either. She would just bring up how amazing she thought I did at certain things and how she wished she could do that. And she'd constantly preach about how people should just be themselves and not change because we're all going to age one day. That was her mentality and speech every day. I don't totally disagree with her, but it just sounds like don't even try to stand out. We all get old, so you're doing it in vain anyway. Listen, I notice with people like that, they don't attract anybody or any opportunity. And giving the benefit of the doubt, I quickly started to pick up on the negative thoughts that I will never be the best version of myself, will never learn that new skill, will never be good at anything. Then I realized, I'm creating all this in my head. These are all just negative thoughts. I realize that some people are just naturally creative. I can understand a bit of envy they receive. And I encourage anyone, naturally creative or not, to keep growing and advancing.